The Duke of Cambridge joked that he doesn't often follow the Queen to a pub as he recalled his grandmother's visit to Dublin's Guinness Storehouse in 2011, during a trip to the tourist attraction with his wife Kate last night. Prince William said the Queen was shown how to pour the perfect pint at the venue nine years ago, adding, Ladies and gentlemen, let me tell you it is not often that I find myself following the Queen to a pub. It came as William and Kate enjoyed a pint of Guinness at the historic Dublin brewery of the Irish Stout, with the Duke toasting his hosts in Gaelic, raising his pint and saying slaint. William appeared to sip his a little more enthusiastically than his wife, but Kate was still game enough to have a taste at the reception hosted by Britain's ambassador to Ireland Robin Barnett in the 17th floor Gravity Bar. The couple met a range of people from the creative arts, sport, business and charity sectors at the major visitor attraction in the Irish capital, which tells the story of the famous drink. The Duke and Duchess are following in the footsteps of the Queen who visited Ireland's top attraction a number of years ago. They were greeted by the British ambassador Robin Barrett who is hosting the party. At the event, William also addressed the guests from the worlds of sport, film, television and the armed forces in Irish, calling them Dawan Uile, ladies and gentlemen. In his speech, William said, Catherine and First are delighted to be here tonight and are both very grateful to Robin for his generous words. Ireland is a country that we have both heard so much about, so we are really excited to be here with you to see it firsthand for ourselves. In coming to the Guinness Storehouse, we are retracing the footsteps of my grandmother, who was shown how to pour the perfect pint here in 2011. Ladies and gentlemen let me tell you it is not often that I find myself following the Queen to a pub. But I am looking forward to testing for myself the theory that Guinness tastes even better in Ireland than overseas. On a slightly more serious note I just wanted to thank all of you in the room for coming here this evening. Thank you for all that you do to support the very special relationship between our two countries. It has been a pleasure to meet so many of you this evening who demonstrate the breadth of our connections across the arts, sports, uniformed services, education and research, and charity sectors. We value it as we do your friendship and are committed to strengthening it further. We are very much looking forward to our next two days in Ireland, where I have no doubt we will continue to be impressed by the creativity, warmth and hospitality the Irish people have to offer. And now with Seen having poured me this perfect pint, I think it only right that I draw to a close. Slaint, Kate changed into a new outfit for the evening, and wore a £1,595 glittering emerald gown by trendy designer The Vampire's Wife for the first evening reception of the historic three-day visit to the country. The couple shook hands with dozens of people on the first day of their tour and are expected to continue to do so despite the ongoing coronavirus threat, based on advice they are being given but they following guidance from Public Health England and the Department of Health and will continue to assess the situation. There are fears the couple's tour of Ireland could be overshadowed by his brother Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's return to the UK later this week. The couple, who are now living in Canada, will be attending the Endeavour Fund Awards on March 5 in London while Prince William and Kate Middleton are in Ireland. The couple were welcomed to Ireland yesterday by President Michael D. Higgins and his wife Sabina, who said, delighted to welcome you. You've had lots of exciting things happening in your family. William and Kate, in a dazzling emerald green dress by the vampire's wife, were welcomed to the spectacular bar on the 16th floor of the Guinness Storehouse by the ambassador and his partner Agnieszka Kepka, before being introduced to groups of guests from film and TV, sports, sustainability and environment, creative and cultural Ireland, education and research, charity and youth. They included Game of Thrones star Liam Cunningham, who played Davos Seaworth in the HBO series and Misfits actor Robert Sheehan, comedian Deirdre O'Connor and actors Sarah Bolger and Orla Brady. Speaking afterwards Liam said he had met the Duke before at an afterparty for the Warhorse premiere at Buckingham Palace. They are total sweethearts, he said of the couple. They are gorgeous, they are beautiful people. 
They are incredibly charming, they are much too classy to say whether they watched Game of Thrones, but he came over and said, Liam, you need no introduction. They are fantastic ambassadors for the UK, they royal couple also met inclusivity campaigner Sinead Burke, who was one of the forces for change chosen to appear on the cover of the September issue of Vogue by their sister-in-law the Duchess of Sussex. Both William and then Kate chatted to the teacher and activist before being handed a pint of the black stuff each by seeing Nawapu, captain of Ireland women's rugby. Their three-day tour will focus on the themes of reconciliation, youth, culture, sustainability and the environment, and will see the couple visit the counties of Meath, Kildare and Galway. The Guinness Storehouse tells the story of the famous Irish tipple, from the brewing process to the brand's history in Dublin, and as Ireland's top international visitor attraction, welcoming 1.7 million people in 2019. Almost a quarter of visitors to the Irish capital cite the home of Guinness as their main reason for visiting the city.